Hello, I'm Bob Powell from North Carolina A&T, and it is my pleasure to welcome you. I've been asked to celebrate the fifth ASU Energy Summit. Uh, this is a meeting of students. Got any students here? Where are the students? Okay. What about faculty? We got faculty here? Staff and administration? Now this is just backwards. <laughs> Students, one more time. Better, better. And our partners, business, members of the business community, other communities, who, who are our friends that are here? There you go, there you go. And this is a meeting that started out uh, as a gathering of the UNC system so all 17 schools are here. It has been built to include some of our friends from private colleges across North Carolina. But it's growing now. What I want to hear from now are, who are the people here from outside North Carolina? Where are you from? South Carolina. All right. Who else? Maryland. Maryland? So we got the ACC here. Is that what's happening? Oh, now, you go. now you're talking. All right. Huh? Chicago. Chicago? nationwide with lots of pride. Uh, so, and for me, the best part of this meeting is the mix, that students and faculty and partners, we get to talk to po folks we wouldn't maybe even get to meet on our campuses and exchange ideas, um, think with each other, uh, and just meet with, and also meet with peers from our other schools and colleges we're going to trade notes, share stories, share some war stories maybe, and look at measurables, look at the data. We can actually talk about what we've achieved in the last year, in the last five years, in the last 15 years. Part of the beauty of this conference is we collect the data and uh, store it, and this year, see if this old timer can do this, There's an app for that. Has everybody got their app on for the conference? Because if you do, you can actually get to the data from your school, from everybody else's school, system-wide, and all of that. So this is an exciting conference. We get to talk with each other. We get to be with each other. And it's been five years. I can't believe that all the different speakers we've heard, um, you know, certainly, Amory Lovins is, is a giant, and we're going to get to hear him for the fifth time. This is a gentleman who, for 40 years, has been five years ahead of everybody else, and will continue to do that. And so by you know, sharing his thoughts, that these, this, we don't have just speakers here. We have people who are going to provoke some thoughts amongst us, help us to kind of move forward in our own thinking and so forth. Bill McKimmon is known to challenge us to be our better selves. And with the information you just saw, it is clear that we've got to do better in order to meet the challenges ahead of climate change and, and just beings on this planet. You know, the Pope has this very wonderful encyclical that he's, he's presented to us. And the, the, you know, sustainability is not just technical stuff. It's spiritual, and, and if the Pope can share that with us, I think the rest of us, in our own, whatever religion we're in, can do that. We've got David Orr, uh, our thoughtful guide, uh, who's established all kinds of best practices. Of course, I guess he'd rather be here than in Cleveland this week. Um, but Carl Robago, uh, Ivan Erlab, Earl F. Gone, Marianne Adams, Marty Pickett, Joel Olsten, just a whole series of, of wonderful speakers here. So finally, just to talk about where we are up in Happy Appy, up in Boone. Um, so we all came up for the mountain air. So 82 degrees was not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, but I understand tonight it'll be mid-60s. We can open up the windows and have some nice sleeping weather. Uh, but there'll be good food, good fellowship, bright moments. 
I mean, I can't wait for what's going to happen here. Uh, and then, so given all of this, my challenge to us is for us to consider where we're going to be uh, three short days from now. At the end of this event, what new friends will you have met? Uh, what insights will you, be, will you have come up with? Uh, what suggestions might you have for this body and the kinds of things we do going forth? And finally, what commitments are you going to make to excellence and actions back in your hometown, back at your community, back at your university? Uh, between now and Wednesday, I'd like for you to jot down some of your answers to those questions so that when it comes to Wednesday, you've got a, uh, a, a to-do list of, of things to do. On Thursday, I want you to pick out one of those things, the one thing that you need to start out with, and do it. Right? And then next Monday, the 25th, take a moment, reflect back on what's happened here this week, because there's going to be a ton of stuff that will have happened, and think about this gathering and maybe something else is going to jog, jog your memory um, about what to do. And at that point, I want you to ask the question, who else should be here? That we started as a small group, uh, we uh, are, are growing, and, but, the, but who's not here who needs to be here? Who do we need to learn from? Who's missing from this meeting? And I'm, Jed wants to hear that. We, we need to hear that back from, from the planners from this meeting so that next year we build even further and get the tribe to be really what it needs to be. Then finally, on the first day of school, I want you to go out and tell somebody what happened here today so that the, the effect of this meeting goes outside the walls of this meeting and spreads across your campus. And uh, if we do all that, this party will have been useful. I want to thank you for that, and uh, Will? <laughs>